Hello learners, welcome to the eContent project method. In this part 2, we are going to learn about the principles of project method and various steps in the project method. First, we will see various principles behind project method. First principle goes like this. Project method is working based on principle of freedom. Yes, since it is comes under student-centered method, freedom is there for the students to learn better. Here teacher is acting as a guide, a mentor and a supervisor. So freedom is there in this project method. The second principle, it's all about reality. Since it is experimental based, real life is brought into the classroom. Third principle, it's based on purpose. Yes, project method is applied with the purpose. Fourth principle connected to the activity. Earlier we have seen learning by doing. Lot of experiments, lot of activities are connected in this project method. Teacher and students both are involved in this activity. Next principle is experience, principles of experience. The positive, negative, trial and error, lot of experience are gained in this project method. The next principle talks about utility. Whatever the task the student and teacher combined and brought to the world, everyone's expectation will be on utility, whether it is useful or not useful. Most of the time, the students go behind useful product. Coming to the next principle, that is correlation. Correlation between other subject. The subject areas are very much correlated, connected for the new invention. Next principle talks about interest. This method enhances the interest among student. That's why we have to give various project. And the final in this list is principles of social experience. The student will get lot of social related behavior and they will exhibit the social well-being. I hope you have understood the various principles behind project method. We have to ask three questions. Then only we have to give a project to the students. Will this project engage my students? Will this project engage me, a teacher? Will my student learn something meaningful from this project? When you are going to ask these questions among yourself, then you will learn the importance of project method. Next, we will see the steps in a project. There are seven steps in a project. Providing situation, selection of the problem, planning about the project, execution the project, evaluating the project, 
recording what have happened in the project then finally reporting about the project in this lesson we will see the first two steps providing situation teachers are expected here to show their interest in this first step we have to give motivation we have to enhance their interest through various co curricular activities various exposures should be given to find out various problematic situation second step it's about selecting a problem the previous step multi number of problems have been shown to the children teacher should support the children student to choose any one problem for their research many discussion and suggestions can be done to finalize the selection process student have to select the project based on their own needs and also the society's need based on the ability of the student time availability of the student energy and resources availability the student and the teacher have to choose a project the other steps are explained in the next session thank you for listening